Hey YouTube, Lightning2288 here, Rich. Um, this will be a little different video. I'll start off, well of course you can tell I'm in front of the camera. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have been PM me, just kind of, I guess wanting to see what I look like, kind of put a voice to the face or vice versa, so that's why I'm doing it. It's going to be the one and the quiet only time I'm going to be in front of the camera, guys. So, um, and everything you see right here, all these books that are not bag or boarded yet, and the ones that are in Ziploc bags, I picked up another Craigslist uh, collection, and I'm real excited about this one. And I'll kind of give a rundown on how I got it. Uh, I hadn't put up an ad in probably two, three weeks. And it was still up. So someone finally hit me up a few days ago saying they had just uh, about, I think it said about 250 books. And they're all Silver Age. And she didn't want to, she didn't want to, I even asked her, we were emailing back and forth, you know, what do you want for them? She never gave me uh, a price or nothing. She wanted me to come look at them and then make her an offer. So I actually met her today, being Saturday. And sorry I'm uploading so late. We actually uploaded this earlier. I got home with this collection around 1 in the afternoon. And me and my daughter filmed this. And actually my daughter's helping me right now. So say hi, Lexus. Hi. And uh, what happened was, you know, I was going through it while they were all still in Ziploc bags. I wasn't for sure everything that was in the collection. So I was showing excitement. So... With this, with that original video, some reason it did not upload and it ended up getting deleted. So I don't know what happened. So this time around, I already know what's basically in this collection. But I want to show it with you guys. Just haven't bagged and boarded them yet. And uh, this, I'll kind of tell how <coughs> you know the story when I went there and made a deal with her and stuff. But let me start off with some of the books. And these are all Silver Age guys. And like I said, a lot of the keys, major keys I have, I already have. I'm going to either sell or if you guys are interested in any doubles or something, just hit me up. I'm more than glad to see if we can make a deal or work something out. Uh, first one, <clears throat> Daredevil 33. Real nice copy. I mean, I mean, I, I, you can see what it is. They're all probably like, you know, 3.0 to 5.0 grades. But like I said, for the price, and I'm not going to say the price because I get enough hate as it is. But all, all I'm going to let you guys know is I got a really good deal on all these books. Daredevil number 18. And I suggest a lot of people pick this book up. It's starting to heat up. This is the first appearance of Gladiator, which has been rumored to, to be in the first season of Daredevil on Netflix coming out in May. And this is one I was just super, super stoked to have and super glad to find. And it, I'm just, I mean, like I said, it's probably like a, maybe like a 3-0 copy. But, like I said, Iron Man number one. And this, for me, this book, I completed the 68 premiere issues. I got them all now. And just super happy to have it. Even in this grade, and for the price, it, it was well worth it. And I know for a fact that I've seen local shops selling this grade for, you know, around two, three hundred bucks. So there's no way in hell I'm paying for that. And another one, I mean, here, I mean they're just random right now because I did actually go through all of them. But this is a Marvel Superheroes uh, 13. And we all know what this is. This is a real hot book as we speak. First Carol Danvers before she became Miss Marvel. So super happy. And this is probably like a, this one's actually decent. I mean, I mean it's a little, the corners are a little dinged up. But like I said, this, I, I still see it as like a 5-0. The spine's still intact for a square bound. So real happy to have that one as well. Submariner number 6. And sorry guys, this ain't gonna be a big story driven video because I got so many, but as you can see, there's a ton of books right now. And uh, okay, let me talk about, so I get to her house today and like I said, she didn't want to take any, make any deals over, you know, through email. So I, I get there and, um, you know, going through and on her workbench in her garage, she has all these Ziploc bags just full of just comic books. And... The first two I seen was, well, I don't even want to mention, I'll show, there was two keys I saw, and then I kind of rummaged through a few of them, I said, you know what, they're all silver age, so I'm going to make an offer, I don't need to look at all, I'm just going to take a chance, and she told me two people already made an offer for, on her collection, two were dealers, so I was like, shit, I don't know how I'm going to compete with this, so I gave my offer, and it was actually the same offer the dealers gave. And she took my offer since I was actually the one there seeing because there was like I think one dealer was supposed to meet her later t uh, today, and another one was supposed to meet her like next week or something to take a, like an overall look at the collection. So I'm glad I actually beat them to the punch. And like I said, I'm not a dealer, 
you know, I do this because I want my collection to grow. And the way comics are, they're just extremely expensive. And I think this is the best way for me to collect. And, you know, like I said, guys, I'm not rubbing it in. Do Craigslist. It's well worth it. Like, you see the eBay prices on every book now. It's just outrageous. And this is the best way. I got these books all relatively cheap. Like I said, I'm not going to say price because I get a lot of hate as it is. I don't want to rub people the wrong way, but I just implore everybody, try Craigslist. Don't give up after one or two tries. You know, it takes many, many, many uh, times to finally hit hit a winning jackpot. But like I said, Tells of Suspense 91, really cool. And she, she had a, like a huge run of Tells of Suspense. Let me just start running through these books a little bit more. Tales of Suspense 90, and I love all these, and these are all Silver Age, awesome books. Tales of Suspense 88, <clears throat> Tales of Suspense 87, like I said guys, there's major keys in here, we'll get to them, I just don't remember where I actually put them in the pile. Tales of Suspense 86. Tales of Suspense 85, beautiful, this is actually one of my favorite covers, this is a real beautiful cover, and it's hot, sorry guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, this is one I'm real, this, this one's actually pretty decent, there's a couple, of, there's a couple of chips up top, but Iron Man number four. And I want to talk about, uh, there's, some, there's some stuff going on in the YouTube com comic book community right now with, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Tom Ryan, this is Daredevil 34. Uh, he recently made a trade, and I know that's already, you guys probably already know, but I might as well give my two cents too. Um, Tom Ryan's a real stand-up guy, you know, and the guy he traded with, he was already been out, it's Wayne Murdoch, which I was surprised because he was actually pretty consistent in the community for, you know, like a few months ago, and he actually watched a few of my videos and comments, we kind of went back and forth here and there, but I just can't believe, and I just, if you watch this video, Wayne Murdoch, um, and I'm going to do the theme with everybody saying right now, do the right thing. Don't, don't be an asshole. Give the books that you owe. And I, it's not only Tom. I mean, I, you know, I think he uh, ripped off Tony, Why Not Art, and I think Collector's Edge, and maybe someone else. So guys, if you get any messages from that guy, Wayne Murdoch, do not do a trade with him. Just ignore him, you know, unsub him. That's what he deserves right now. We do not need this negativity within the combo community. We're all friends here and we should all be able to trust each other but like I said we need to get the message out there that this guy is ripping people off and like I said Tom so sorry about what happened uh, you know why not art uh, collector's edge hopefully something works out where you guys get the books uh, Tales to Astonish 87 pretty cool Tell, and, uh, Tales to Astonish 86 I just love all these books man I'm just that's going to be a lot of money in Mylar, I'll tell you right now, though. This is Tales of Astonish 91. I think this is the second appearance of Abomination in this first cover appearance. But this book's actually getting pretty pricey. But I'm actually glad I don't have this, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And these are some of the ones I was pretty excited to find as well. This is Amazing Spider-Man 59. I think this is the first Mary Jane cover. But still, any Silver Age Spider-Man is worth the pickup. Amazing Spider-Man 49. This is a cool one. Like I said, guys, I got I already got this copy, so if anybody's interested... Like I said, if anybody's interested in any of these books I'm showing, just hit me up. You never know. I have a double. I have doubles of a lot of Silver Age books, but this is Amazing Spider-Man 61. First cover appearance by Gwen Stacy. Real, really cool cover. And like I said, guys, if you hit me up, PM me. I don't like emailing back and forth. If you decide to do a trade or if you want to buy something, I'll pass you my phone number so we can talk. It's a lot easier for me to talk on the phone and give you the grade and kind of explain what we should do. It's just easier. I don't like going back and forth with emails. This is Amazing Spider-Man 64. Really nice copy. I mean, you see the browning right here, but other than that, this is a pretty sharp book. Like I said, any Silver Age. These are cool, too. And it's funny, I was just actually talking in my last video that I need to start picking up Jim Steranko, and she had quite a bit of Jim Steranko stuff in here. This is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number five. Agents of Shield number two. Agents of Shield number three. And then we're going right, and you can see this one don't even have a back cover, but oh well. Captain America 104. 
This one's really cool. I always like this cover. Captain America 103. Captain America 103. Two copies. Captain America 102. These are all beautiful covers, too. Captain America 101. What time we at, Lex? I don't want my, sorry guys, I don't want my video going too long. I'm going to try to like, you know, go through these books fast. How much time we got left, Lex? 10.30. We're at 10.30 only? Okay. Submariner number three. Submariner number four. I don't know why this was even in there, but not brand egg number seven. And then I have a lot of Tales of Suspense, Tales to Astonish, really cool. This is Tales of Suspense 96. Tales of Suspense 95. Cool cover, Grey Gargoyle on it. This one might be, some of you guys might be interested in. This is Tales of Suspense 94, first appearance of MODOK. Like I said, hit me up, guys. Tales of Suspense 93. Tales of Suspense 92. This one, I mean, man, if it wasn't for a couple of corn beans and this chicken on top, the cover is actually solid. This is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. If you see over there, you need to press that out a little bit. But beautiful Jim Steranko cover. And here's another cool one, too. This is Tales of Suspense 97, first appearance of Whiplash. Another Tales of Suspense 99. Beautiful cover. Uh, and then she had some Daredevils, but the Daredevils seem like they're the most beat up of any of the books. This is Daredevil number 17. As you can see, this one's a beat up copy. Daredevil 15. Like I said, I'm still working on that Daredevil one. But some of these Daredevils I do have, if you guys are interested in, definitely just hit me up. Daredevil number 12. And Daredevil number 11. Really cool. Avengers 43. Avengers 44. Tells to Astonish 97. Sorry, my daughter is making faces at me right now, so I'm trying to hold my laugh in. Avengers 24. Avengers 26. Avengers 27, and honestly, guys, this is this this haul alone. It beats the one me and James have gotten. The, the we call it the Hillbilly Haul, our first major Craigslist uh, find, and then the last one. I guess you want to call it the Crackhead House or the, the Marijuana House or whatever. But this alone topples that, and this is this is the type of collection I've been waiting for because I just love Silver Age, Avengers 29. And this is really cool. And this is actually not in bad shape. Avengers 54. First cameo, I think, of Ultron. This book's really hot. Let me just put that over here. <laughs> this is Avengers number 30. Avengers 31. Avengers 32. Avengers 33. Eh, fantastic. Actually, not that bad of shape, though. Still, regardless of Silver Age. Fantastic 477. I don't know. These don't even... This is, these are the only non-Silver Age books in here. This is Fantastic Four 215, 215. Fantastic Four 242. Yeah, I don't know why they were in there. Fantastic Four King Size Annual number 4. And this one was real excited to find as well. Avengers 55, first appearance of Ultron. And like I said, guys, I already have a copy of this, but, you know, my boy Omega Shin, or AKA James, he's been wanting this book for a while, so I'm definitely gonna save this one for him. And as soon as he gets to through whatever he's going through, you know, this is gonna be, a, he's gonna get the super friend discount. So, yeah, this is for James, Avengers 55. Avengers 34. Tales to Astonish 101. How much time are we on, Lex? 14.50. 15, 15 minutes? 14.50. 14.50, okay. Avengers 37. 
Sorry guys, I don't seem as excited. This is a retake video, so the first video was good. I was all like giddy and laughing like a little schoolgirl, but this, I, already, I already know what's in these uh, piles now. Uh, this just sucks. I don't know if you guys are having the same problem I'm having with the uploading in YouTube. Sometimes it'll upload like, say it's like a 25 minute video, it's only uploading like 15. Or like I said today, when I uploaded my original video, for some reason it, it deleted itself. So I don't know. That's why I had to retake and that's why it's so late. Cause I actually I think it's like 8 o'clock right now in SoCal, and I'm actually, I actually originally uploaded, or tried to upload the original video around 1 to, one to 2 o'clock uh, earlier today. Avengers 38. Avengers 39. Tales to Astonish 95, and these are really cool. I love these old Tales to Astonish books. So glad to have them too. Avengers 35, Avengers number 36. All right, guys, to get to this last pile right here. Of course, I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. The first book, I'm, I'm real happy to have this, and this is actually a double too now. This is Doctor Strange 169, and this is a super hot book right now. Especially with, you know, within the next couple years, he is getting his movie, so like I said, Glad it was in the collection, but definitely going to be putting on eBay. Like I said, I'm just, with the way I'm doing it, I'm just trying to sell the keys I already have to make my money back. I'm happy to break even and be able to keep everything else. So basically, I'm looking at, I'm going to break even, and the rest of the stuff is free. That's how I look at it. Doctor Strange 170. Doctor Strange 171. These are beautiful covers, too. Another copy of Doctor Strange 171. Doctor Strange 173. Tales do Astonish 96. Tales do Astonish 98. Tales do Astonish 92. Yes, yeah. Had. Well, whoever she got the collection from had really good taste in books. Well, my, my, my kind of taste. Tells to Astonish 94. This is a cool one, guys. This one's definitely going to be up for sale. This is Tells to Astonish 90. First appearance of Abomination. This book's actually seen a little increase in value. So definitely I'm going to pipe it on eBay or, like I said, hit me up, guys, and maybe we can work something out. And some X Men. And I actually showed these two recently. I wish I didn't buy them now, but oh well. X Men 47. Some Don Heck stuff. X Men number 46. That's the only two X-Men books they had in the whole collection, though. And this one, this one's just falling apart. I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's a Marvel Superheroes 15, starring uh, Medusa. This one's beat up, though. I'll just put that over here. And Marvel's Collector's Item 16, just reprinting old Fantastic Four books. Silver Surfer number two, really cool. Really glad to have this one. And she only had like maybe three or four DC books. This is Teen Titans number 12. No, no back cover. Superboy 169. Like I said, guys, when you pick up collections like this, not everything is going to be mint or near mint. Like I said, a lot of these are arranged from VG to fine. But like I said, on the major keys, I'm knowing I'm going to go, I'm going to break even. I'm going, if not make a little bit more than what I paid for it. So real happy. World's Finest 183. Like I said, everything else will be just free. Hulk 102. And like I said, I have a copy of this, so definitely this will be one for sale with Doctor Strange 169. Check this out, guys. This is what I was super excited. This book, of course, Captain America 100. We all know what it is. I'm not going to explain it. Like I said, it's going to help me get back to breaking even. And actually, and it's actually pretty nice. It's probably like a fine a fine copy and Captain America 100 a second copy this was in the collection and this is more like a, a VG copy VG plus now if you hear the yelling in the background it's probably my son getting mad at Call of Duty right now so anyways <laughs> and th these are all the major keys that I did find Silver Surfer number one now I think with this stack and this stack I'm getting pretty close to making my money back Especially with the way, I think right now, the best 
it's the best time to be selling eBay because I'm seeing stuff go for outrageous prices. So I'm definitely throwing some of these out there. But I'm not going to do auction. I'm going to try to price them to sell. You know, I'm not going to overprice them, but I'm not going to underprice them. But I'm going to price them where they, they're going to move fairly quickly. I just want, like I said, I just want to break, I just want to break even. As long as I could break even on like maybe 10, 11 books and keep the rest, I'm happy with it. Like I said, I already have a copy of this. So this is definitely going to be one for sale. Sorry, that's my wife doing the dishes. <laughs> and I'm keeping this one, but this this is one I've been looking for for a while, but the price of it just got carried away. Strange Tales 135. Extremely expensive now. In this grade, there's a guy, there's a vendor at Frank and Sons that has, he's had it on his wall for a while. And he wants like 200 bucks for it. And this, this is around this, gra this grade. So like I said, I'm super happy. There's no way in hell I'm going to pay for that. Another one I'm super happy to find. This one's actually in pretty decent shape as well. Marvel Superheroes number 12. First appearance of Captain Marvel. Really happy to find this one. What time we have, Lex? 21. 21 minutes. Okay, Avengers 45. And you, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. My son's getting his ass kicked at Call of Duty right now. So I'll just ignore it. Avengers 45 with a 15 cent sticker that someone tried to rip off. But like I said, oh well. Some more Tales to Astonish. Tales to Astonish 99. Fire this video is not as, you know, like I said, this is the second attempt at this video, so I'm not as excited. <laughs> Tales to Astonish 100, and I don't got that many stories for this video, but I'm showing the hell I'm showing well over 100 bucks. Captain Marvel number three. Captain Marvel number two. Really cool. And this is one I already have it, so like I said, guys, hit me up. Captain Marvel number one. Really cool book. I think this one's highly undervalued and highly underrated. It's a really, to me, a key issue. Another cool one, Submariner number one. Really cool book to have, man. Definitely, if you have a chance to get this, or if you want to trade for it, or, you know, buy it, I'll give you a, re a reasonable price. Captain Marvel number four. Submariner number two. Sorry, they're out of order. Hulk 103. Hulk number 104. And this one, this is one of my favorite Hulk, early Hulk Silver Age covers. Incredible Hulk 105, and it's actually in pretty nice shape. Real, really happy with it. This one's staying, staying in my collection. Hulk 105. Hulk 106. Hulk 110, Captain America 105, you see that, and like I said guys, I haven't gone through the rest of this stuff, because I've just been busy today, and like I said, this is the second attempt at <laughs> making this video, but I'll kind of show you, there's still, this is what all the books came in, these freezer bags, but like I said, as you can see, I got a huge run of strange shells, I might just show in later videos, I'll, I'll go through some of them right now, and then I'll just end my video at that, strange tales 149, Strange Tales 134, Strange Tales 168, the last issue of Strange Tales, definitely have a chance to get that guys. Strange Tales 162, let me see if there's any more keys in here, some of you guys are about the keys. Strange Tales, I don't even know, the, oh there it is, Strange Tales 144, Strange Tales 160, and yeah, they're all in zip blocks. First Living Tribunal, I believe. I got a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'll probably just eventually show them in later videos. Some cool stuff. Strange Tales 167, I like that cover actually. But like I said guys, that'll do it uh, for my video. Appreciate everything, appreciate the support. Like I said guys, give, give Craigslist a, sh a shot. Cause I know right now the way the comic industry is, eBay prices are outrageous. And, you know, the best bet is try to get some stuff on Craigslist, you go Will and Dale. And I'm not, like I said, rubbing it in. I just want to share. I love sharing this with you guys. And, you know, I'm really excited about what I got. And hopefully you guys start doing this and picking up some good collections for yourself. Like I said, thanks once again. And that's, uh, that'll do it for my video. Lightning out.